from Hyderabad where we are about to go to the ruins of Golconda Fort which is the capital city of the Kutubshah dynasty in 1591 it is a it is of great historical importance and yeah looking forward to explore this ruins and, and know the cultural heritage of the kings and Kutub Shahis yeah let's go and explore We are following the Google Maps to reach the destination. Take the second left after These are some loop lines here in Hyderabad and yeah, the contrast compared to those high-tech city and those corporate companies, Hyderabad consists of these loop lines also. Not only Hyderabad, every city has its pros and cons. The ruins of Golconda. I think this whole area is uh, Muslims. Muslim area. Amal, Amal Medicals. Kamal Manzils, Jishan, KF, Jet Associates. And some. Muslim politicians. Whoa. Wow. What is this? Completely Muslim area. Straight, straight. Old city, Mummy. Romal roti over here. Completely Muslim area, completely. As you can see, this is the old city, the other side of the new city, which has contrasting features completely. I think this is some Katora house. I think some lake, I guess. Ruins of. Ruins of This is the parking area and that is the gold conda fort. They are asking if you want guides, but of course they will charge like around 1000 or 500 rupees for just guidance. And yeah, I think there are enough information on these things. Bala Hisar 
in the most part of the fort includes citadel this is bala hissar this is the eastern entrance of the fort this is the fatet darwaza and a clapping portico this shop clap okay this has an peculiar acoustic effect this clapping sound here can be heard 1 km away on top of the hill so that the kings and everybody will ready to the emergency situation that's the importance of this acoustic peculiar feature ah our fate darwaza that is the signaling thing they used to do that time in those period of time yeah the weather is lovely here and i think the temperature is around 23 or 24 degrees celsius the sun is also not out yet i think the time is around 10 o'clock and yeah Golconda was built in around 1591 by some in Qutub Shah dynasty. Actually, a, a boy, a shepherd boy, is roaming in in and here in those days and found an idol. As you know, if they found idol, and it has got some importance. It, It, is, it usually gets importance and and because of the orthodox situations and misbeliefs and uh, that boy that that information was carried to the king and uh, yeah that period this golconda at that particular situation this golconda has got importance this golconda has golconda golla konda in telugu golla is nothing but a shepherd in after that it was named after that boy and as i'm saying uh, it was named after that boy uh, immediately the king has got information and he built a, a small like a small tomb around that idol and after that actually that king belongs to bahmani dynasty and uh, that king name is some kuli kutub ul uk but after their after the fall of bahmani dynasty kuli kutub shah of bahmani dynasty has got popular and has got and he he has got powers how i don't know he he had he had developed the golconda and established the kutub shahi dynasty kuli kutub shah and that time this is the capital of the kutub shahi dynasty golconda yeah that is the history of and he has developed the golconda into a massive structure into a small city kind of thing that time which consists of temples mosques function halls houses and guide map of yeah for fix i think this is the place of the laser show light show and laser show right time untade akkad gelthamu i think in the evening the golconda lights up into different colors but the 
sun is hitting head sun just came up i think these are bathing wells for use for bathing that time Yeah, these are bathing wells. <laughs> this Golconda fort has four distinct forts with 87 bastions. See, some of the cannons are still intact. Use it for... You, I think they, they are used in a war. The most interesting thing that happened here is the trading of the world famous Kohinoor diamond in 13th century. The diamond was originally found in the Koluru mine that is situated around 600 kilometers away from this Golconda. So obviously this is the city of trading and the only trading platform back then. I'm getting some kind of snake sound. Yeah, we got a some cracking view of city. Yeah, I'm seeing some golf club over there. Nice grassland. And the city is covered in fog right now. I think this is some sort of jail kind of thing. With These are modernized iron and doors. Iron doors. But... Seeing this reminds me of some jail, jail kind of, it has a jail kind of vibe to it and we have a cracking view of the city here. And, woo, wow, imagine view here at night time, the city lights up and Sun slapping. Yeah. That's the golf court, I guess. Because it has a wide area of grass, green grass, and kind of thing. Yeah. Up, up, up. We are going further up. I think we have reached the top and there is some sort of temple kind of thing over here. <laughs> That's why this all rituals, Jagadamba Alayam, Jagadamba Temple. I think this is the main top fort, the king's fort. Bardari Darbar Hall, yeah. I think this is the main Darbar Hall for that period of time. I think the meetings of the king, the mantris, I mean, used to happen here. Do not defeat the monument. I think this is the main hall. That's where the king used to sit. The view of the king over here. I'm the king. I'm the queen.
Yeah. I think this is the view of the mantri. Yeah, these all are just assumptions, guys. These all are not. I did not tread anywhere. I'm making assumptions. Oh, very narrow space. This is the top notch of the Golconda Fort. And some sort of indoor st stadium over there I think there is some sort of I think this is an emergency exit at that time now they are closed it we just completed exploring this fort top fort Darbar Hall See this massive structure built. I think this is some sort of security kind of area for watching. This was built, only built on the base of this huge rock. We just explored that area. I think the emergency exits will lead to here. the main entrance see how huge the doors are these iron spikes are used to these iron spikes they are used to prevent the elephants from battering them down from entering from breaking through those doors that's uh, the importance of those iron spikes. I think we just completed only halfway through the Golconda Fort and yeah. We just completed exploring the Golconda Fort and now we are heading to the mall.